In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to do this magical unicorn hairstyle. To do this style, you are going to need a spray bottle, a leave-in conditioner that doubles as a heat protectant, hairspray and spray gel, a brush and comb, bobby pins, a heavy elastic and some smaller elastics, and then optional are some hair color and a hair texturizer or crimper. So I've got her hair parted into three sections back by the ear. They're three even sections. And I am going to take the back of the hair, spray it down with water and spray gel. And this part of her hair, we are going to put in a high ponytail. You want it fairly close to the part line. So it may take a minute or two to get it up by this part line, but just use a comb and a brush and then your heavy elastic to put it up high by the part line so you have a high ponytail. The next part of our hairstyle involves these front sections. So I'm going to take my placeholders out. Now her hair had a braided hairstyle in the previous day and that's why it looks sort of wavy while we're doing it. But I'm using water at the roots and then I'm also going to use our favorite spray gel at the, the roots. You could also use a hairspray or a regular gel. I just like this spray gel because it combs out nicely um, it provides a good hold without making it sticky. So I'm combing out both sides because these are going to be connected back underneath our high ponytail. So after I have got both sides really nice and combed out, I'm going to connect them and bring them right underneath my high ponytail connecting them right in the middle. I'm going to use one of my little elastics and bring the hair down around three or four times in this elastic. And then I'm taking the tail of this hair and I am going to wrap it around the ponytail. I'm using my spray gel and combing it through and then wrapping it around the ponytail. And then we are simply going to feed the end of this hair back through the elastic. So bring your fingers up through pull the hair down, and then you have the hair wrapped. And that way the hair on the sides is going back and not way up into the side ponytail. It just creates a better look. So we are going to start on our horn now. We are coming to the front section, and I am going to create about a one to one and a half inch section right in the front. And we are after I've parted that out, I'm just going to loosely section it off for now. Our next step is to take this back section and part it in half. And I'm going to take my texturizer and add a little bit of texture to the very base of her hair. This just gives our horn something to hold on to. If you don't have one of these, you can back comb or tease the base of the hair. I just didn't really want to back comb it. And so using the texture iron um, makes it easier for the horn to hold on to. You can't have a unicorn without a horn, so we are going to be crafting a horn out of tin foil, and I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to take a generous size piece of foil that is a couple feet long, and I am going to start rolling it. Um, once I get to the end, obviously this is going to be way too long, so I'm going to hold it up to her head to see about how big I want it. Now her horn was about five and a half inches and if you've got a littler one you want it even smaller but I'm going to fold the end up and this will create an opening in the bottom where I can put my bobby pins down in. So you want the bottom sort of flat and you want it to taper towards the top with the hole at the bottom because you folded the foil over. Next I'm spraying a bunch of hairspray right in the center part and then I am going to place the horn so that the opening comes to the sides. And then we are just going to bobby pin it down. Now you'll see that I flattened out the bottom par portion of this opening. It's going to make it hold better against the head. It'll be flatter and I used about four bobby pins. Next we're taking each side and splitting it in half. I'm going to have a front section and a back section. The back section I'm just going to start wrapping around the horn. Now product is really really important with this style otherwise you're going to start getting a ton of flyaways and I'm actually coming up to the top and wrapping that portion first and then I'm just going to take a bobby pin and place it up or down however you can get it to hold. 
You're going to see the bobby pins at first, but as you wrap more hair, you're going to be able to hide it. So I'm adding lots of spray gel and wrapping it around again. Now before I said that Nova's horn was longer, if you do have a little girl with shorter hair, it would be much smarter to do like a two to three inch horn. You really can do any size that you want. So I've done both the back pieces and now I have um, the front pieces. So again, spraying water and spray gel, combing it all the way through. Otherwise, you'll find really quickly that you have a ton of flyaways. And then this piece, I'm going to start making sure that all of my foil is covered. And when I put the bobby pins in, I want to try to hide them. So I keep wrapping it and then you might see the, the top of the bobby pin, but I'm going to slide it in and kind of try to hide it between the bottom pieces. So our last side piece, I'm using extra water, extra spray gel, spraying it through because you want this really nice and smooth. And then again, I'm working my way up the horn. I'm starting at the base and working my way up and then adding a bobby pin. Now if you do still see the bobby pins, make sure to add them in the back so that they're less noticeable because sometimes it's hard to completely cover them. Now with this front section, this is our very last section, we're just gonna back comb a little bit and then smooth out the front. And then I am going to kind of poof it out in the front and bring it around the side. I just like how this makes the front look and her hair isn't uh, straight back. I just feel like it creates a cuter, softer look. So again, using water and spray gel, and then this last piece of hair that you're wrapping around, make sure that you have some give in the front so that you don't lose that little poof. And then we're gonna wrap the hair around and add our last bobby pin. And then you can add bobby pins as needed. This lasted the full school day, and she's a really active first grader. Our last thing that we're going to do is add a little bit of color hairspray. You can add actual color to their hair, but I wanted something that was going to wash out easily, so we just added some pink glitter hairspray for a fun effect. We did curl the ponytail, which I'm not going to show in this video, but you can do that. And then added other bobby pins as needed, and that's our finished style. So she wore this hair for Crazy Hair Day, but it would also be fun for Halloween. Be sure to share and like and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.